Alright guys, Astoria, brand new Easter egg map. Let me tell you, we've had like three solid Easter egg weekends in a row. And let me tell you, it's about time. Bring zombies back. Please. Astoria, not a hard Easter egg. There's not too much of a boss, but it's a fun Easter egg. Uh, very well done map. Couple things we gotta do, couple side Easter eggs. Uh, the main quest is for a wonder weapon that's gonna be, I guess, kinda new to the game. So, uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just send it, see how it is. So first thing you gotta know about this game, or this map, I should say, is that you really only need two guns, maybe, at best. Uh, this pistol is a one-shot to, like, round 10, honestly. So, uh, yeah, our goal is to get the next gun, which is in the maze. And then um, we're going to get the ray gun and a side Easter egg. So, again, it's a fun Easter egg, not a hard one, which is very nice. Um, but, yeah, so we're just going to open up all the way to power in the mansion. So one of the missions that we have to do for the main Easter egg is we have to get a golden shovel so we can dig up a special item later. So to get the golden shovel, for those of you that have played Origins, uh, and I think Buried, right? I think it was in Buried. It's been a long time. But uh, you have to get the golden shovel by getting a shovel and just digging. Digging till you get a golden shovel. It usually takes like 10, sometimes more. But uh, here's one shovel. There's a couple on the map. Maybe this one will spawn. I'll show you a couple other locations that I know of. But you just want to start digging as much as possible. And a digging site looks like this. Um, oh, and this is the gun. Oh, and this is the gun we were going to get in the, w in the maze. That works out so perfect. <laughs> so honestly... I'm going to be real with you guys. You can talk about your ray guns. You can talk about your wonder wafts, your thunder guns. This is the true, the one and only wonder weapon in the entire game. Honestly, in all of zombies. This thing is stupid good. And uh, it will literally carry us through this entire map. So, yeah. I'm still going to use the pistol for now until later rounds. But uh, just because it's still a one shot. Um, but, yeah. We're just going to continue making it towards power. And uh, digging up as many of those uh dig sites as we can so when you get to this point you'll see that it kind of splits off they both go to the same spot we're gonna go left uh actually do we have to go left it's actually probably more beneficial to go right because there's nothing over there um yeah you know what let's do that instead we're gonna go right through the barn boom as far as i remember there's really nothing over there so yeah go, go right instead jason's opening the next door and then we're gonna head inside uh into the mansion so this is the i think it's pretty much an exact scale mansion of buried uh it's been a long time since i played buried but uh as you can tell it's not that big of a area until you go to these corners where there's um a stairwell down here there's actually another stairway over there we're not going to go left yet we're going to work towards power which is right down these stairs so when jason gets a chance he might have to open this one as well jason's getting all the points here because i'm talking so jason just opened it if we go downstairs we could turn on the power which is to the left down here so before we start the first step of the easter egg this is actually when we have to open the next door which looks like jason might need to buy again i feel so bad but as you can tell he's doing all the work here so jason's gonna go upstairs he's gonna open this door right here which is very easy to miss and and now we can start the first step of the Easter egg. So now that power is turned on, we have to hit the four paintings in the mansion in order. So here's the first one. Uh, the order is always different. When you hear a violin sound and those dogs stay, uh, that means that uh, it's the right answer. So the next one, I'm going to take a guess. This one's probably going to be wrong. But if you go, let's do, let's do this one down here. Right next to the piano. Okay, I didn't make the noise. So now I have to go back. And I have to um, start with this one again. If it's not either of these two, we're going to go through this hallway here in the side. We're going to go all the way down. Watch the fire. We're going to go all the way down into the master bedroom. And it's going to be this one. Yep. I'm going to guess piano. 50-50 shot. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Three. And the last one downstairs is four. Boom. So that's all four. You can hear the wolf howl. If you go upstairs, you will see this filing cabinet right here. Now you can open it and there's a key to the pack-a-punch at the end of the maze. So now Jason and I have to wait and get, I think it's about, uh, I'm trying to think of that, but it's a total of 3,000, I believe, which isn't too, too bad, but we need that to open two doors. So um, that's a little more than that because the one's 1750. So it's like 3,500 total so here's our first dog round now for those of you that have never done buried 
uh, there are witches instead of dogs. Now, witches do not do damage. In fact, they do something way worse. They take your money. Typical women, right? <laughs> so just make sure you don't get grabbed. They do take a significant amount of money. So that's why I'm saying try not to uh, get grabbed. If I go upstairs, there's a drop down that you guys may have seen. Um, that drop down costs 15. It's the same price as the one downstairs, but it does not open both of them. This is the one I'm talking about. And if you drop down here, you actually can't come back up. So honestly, there's really no point in opening this one. So we're going to go down to power and we're going to get that one instead. So if you go past power, boom, uh, there's actually, if you want to open that, I'll get the more expensive one. So Jason opened that one. I'm going to open this one. And now we are in the maze. Now the maze isn't too complicated to, uh, track, uh, honestly, uh, this is the best spot for digging. Like you can obviously do all your digging and see if you can get that golden shovel. Okay guys. So if you're looking at the fountain and this is where we just walked to get to the back, I pretty much have most of this maze memorized, but second one on the left, go all the way to here. So this is the far left side, go all the way down. And right here, you can use that key to open up to pack a punch. Um, we're not going to use Pack-A-Punch just yet. Obviously, we don't have enough. Uh, right now, we're just going to focus on getting some points, getting doing some digging, enough and then we should be good. Just so you guys know, I guess I assume this was common knowledge, but maybe for some it's not. But uh, if you ever run out of dig sites, you have to go to a new round so that they reset. So if you're like, I can't find any more dig sites, that just means you have to... Uh, reset the map so if you don't know if you got the golden shovel or not guys if you look next to your name in the bottom left it actually shows a silver shovel and then it'll actually turn gold so in front of pack a punch there seems to always be a shield part that spawns here we've never seen another one so uh i know there's a couple locations but the shield honestly even though you can build it it's not that useful you'll find that as i said at the beginning this is more of a fun map rather than a hard map so you don't really need it, but we'll, we'll try and show you those locations, the ones that we know of. Looks like Jason has the last zombie. So now we're going to work towards our second gun, which is going to be the free ray gun Mark II, which is an awesome <laughs> side Easter egg to get, I would say. So I actually also just got my golden shovel. Um, so I'm still going to keep digging because now it just means that our chance of getting what we need is a lot higher, but we're not quite at that step yet. First, let's get the... Um, um, mark two so there are four levers in the maze they're kind of hard to see so there's a green a yellow a red and a blue uh the order is different for everyone but from what i've noticed is the way you know that you're on the right track is uh whether you flip one of these switches and it turn and it shocks if it doesn't spark that means it's not the right one so i'll show you the locations and then i'll show you our order uh i'm going to show it all in one so that you guys know exactly how to get to that spot so here's the green one right here so it's not the green one is not the first one for us here's the yellow one right across the way if we go here that leads over to blue this is kind of a weird way of getting to it but here's the blue one on the right normally i wouldn't go this way but and then the red one's all the way to the left on the other side so we're just going to keep running all the way down. To the right is the gate that takes you to Pack-A-Punch. Keep going left. And you will see it all the way down here. So obviously that one's wrong. As you can see, they've all went down. So you do have to figure out the order. This is the shotgun that I was telling you about. Uh, it's 1400 I think, maybe. But no matter what it is, buy it. It will save your life. Okay, so blue's our first one. I'm going to send it green. Damn it. Oh, so yellow. So notice how green wasn't the second one, but uh, that means that yellow is the third because it's shocked. So I know it's going to be blue something. So probably red. So ours is going to be blue, red, blue, red, yellow, green, yellow and green give it to me give it to me there we go so we're gonna get rid of our pistol uh keep that shotgun i know the pistol is really good but now we're going to pack a punch the mark two and you'll see why in a second so now that we're at this point uh all we have to do is dig for three tnts now what happens with this is it's all kind of chance but once you get your first tnt the new ones are or the other ones are 
uh, usually soon to follow. So just keep digging till you get TNT, which you will be getting. I'd say it takes probably about like 20 total. So there's a car 98. Definitely don't want that. Okay, here's our first TNT. Uh, Jason, I'm going to get enough points to pack. And then we're at the... Oh, the dog spawned. Oh, ooh, ooh. I heard it. So here's the wolf somewhere. Where are you? And this wolf, it, if you kill it, you get a free perk. I will find it. And I, oh, my God. I've never actually seen it. But, dear God, it's a werewolf, not a regular wolf. Holy shit. Jason, not good, not good, not good. Jason! Jason! Wow, I got it. Get fucked up. <laughs> so I just got mule kick. That was actually the first time we've gotten that. I've only heard of Legends. I didn't know it was actually in the... In this map. Oh shit, Jason, I'm gonna go down? Fuck. <laughs> there goes the perk. <laughs> so now we're gonna go for the third side quest, which you actually need a pack-a-punch weapon for. Uh, it's kind of tough to do with the shotgun. So there's four targets on the map. So here's the first one. The second one, I'm actually gonna snipe from here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I could do that, but there's the second one. And then the other ones are on the other side of or the other side of the mansion. So at the house, I'm just gonna dig. Come on, baby. Yep, there's our next. Uh, TNT. Come on, baby. Lucky number three. Lucky number three. So that's all three TNT. Uh, we're going to save a zombie and then we'll start the next step. Even though it does, you'll see it doesn't really matter if we save or not. But just so it's a little less hectic. If we go out towards spawn, we're back basically at the beginning of the game. Uh, if you look at the water tower, it's right there. It's kind of hard to hit because of the angle. And then the last one is right on this windmill over here to the right of spawn if you're looking at it. And you get a uh, second free perk. Now, you can only have four perks. Uh, Jason and I honestly don't feel like this map really requires perks to get it done. Uh, obviously, we're just going to get the four. But if you really wanted six, all you would do is buy your four first and then do those side quests. Problem is, I don't know how exactly the werewolf spawns. So that's why uh, I kind of panicked to get it done. Because we didn't see it in our last run. So, Jason's got a zombie and I got a zombie. I'm going to kill mine, Jason. Uh, so I'm going to take the three TNT. I'm going to put it on the fountain and it's going to blow the fountain up. And now a wisp is going to spawn as well as zombies. Uh, we have to follow this wisp all the way to the beginning of the game. Uh, it's not too bad. It goes pretty fast. If you're not super close to it, it'll stop. I think like right there it stops. Yeah. So you have to be very close to it, which is fine. So while we are getting towards the end of this guys, I'm going to try and talk and play at the same time, which you guys know I'm great at. Um, so when this gets to the end, we are going to get a zombie blood and that zombie blood's going to last a really long time because we have to grenade throw three lanterns on the map while in zombie blood. Uh, you have to get these done because uh, if you don't, you have to wait for another zombie blood and it's kind of a pain in the ass to wait for it. So I'm going to try my best to get these done as fast as possible. Uh, also, this kind of tests your grenade throwing ability because you have to cook a grenade and throw it in the air and then collect it. So... Yeah, speed is definitely a factor to this. It has now landed. There's the zombie blood. I'm going to grab it. We're going to start running. Jason, I apologize. I know you, this is going to be rough on you for a little bit. But basically, there's a, there's a straightaway. So here's the first one. Luckily, it spawned here. One, two, three, four. I can't do it. One, two, three. There's one. So make sure you pick it up. The next one will either spawn right here or it's going to be back at the mansion. So the next one is going to spawn right there. One, two, three and a half. Yep. Oh, sky high on that bitch. And then the last one is back in the center of the mansion above the stairs. And remember, the order is different for everyone. So one, two, three. Oh, that was two. One, two, three. There we go. So that is all three. Now it knocks you out of uh, zombie blood, and now we're good to go. We're kind of in the home stretch, guys. Um, all we're all that's left is to get this uh, free weapon with the lanterns. It's kind of a fun little mini game we got to do. It kind of brings back the uh, for those of you that have played Buried with all the targets, brings back memories. 
if you guys remember that hell. So now that we have the three lanterns, we gotta place them on the pillars that have not, uh, that don't have a lantern. One, two, three, boom. So we gotta memorize the order. So we gotta shoot these as fast as possible with a pack-a-punch weapon. This is looking great. There we go. And there, yeah, we weren't fast enough. Hold on. There we go. Booyah. I think that's all of them, right? So you'll get the music again. And then we're good to go back to spawn. So guys, that's actually the end of the Easter egg. Uh, the Easter egg is for a wonder weapon that apparently is really cool. And people have been saying, hey, Please put that in more maps. It's a really cool gun. But all you have to do is you have to go back to your tombstone, figure out who you are. I don't think I'm Rustman. There we go. I'm Slinger, Soul Slinger. And that is it. That is the Wonder Weapon, the Alistar's Foley. Now, this is just what the right Reminds me of a Borderland for. gun. Borderlands gun. I think Jason's got one as well. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can pack a punch it, Jason. Why not? So even though we finished the Easter egg and we're gonna try pack a punching it for you, here's the next shield part. The shield part is right on this uh, rock here. And the last shield part is next to power right here. Boom, yeah. So now we go back to the barn and we build it. So it turns out you can't pack a punch the uh, inhibitor, which is kind of a shame, but here is where you would build the rocket uh the riot shield if you need it but guys that is literally the whole easter egg we have done everything this map has to offer including the werewolf which again honestly we're still not a hundred percent sure how it spawns but uh yeah that's it we finished it in 35 minutes so yeah good job jason for once one goes smoothly for us unlike maury <laughs>